it's been a crazy couple of weeks now, but a focus has been on Preston as well, an intense focus for us. We've had a we've had a slow start. You know, let's be honest, a slow start. I'd like to have had a couple more points on the board for sure. Um, and we've had some real lows in, in the first couple of weeks already. Um, I'd like to see a little bit more consistency in us, and that starts at Preston. Um, um, Preston, as we know, is always a tough place to go, a tough proposition because a, a well organised, uh, consistent team um, um, under Alex Neil. And you know, we know we're going to be in for a tough game, but the, the, the players have been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, it's great to see. Great to see um, uh, Gav. Great to see uh, Will get on against England. Great to see uh, Kiefer and play some minutes. All, all, all three lads play play for the national sides whilst being away. Great to see Mark Harris um, getting some, some some games in the twenty ones, and and the lads that have stayed with us have trained brilliantly. And there's a real focus in the group, um, you know, to to look forward towards Sunday. Yeah, Keith Keith has come back to us. Um, um, fortunately, big man's healing well, um, so he's got a good good chance for the weekend. Joe Bennett obviously came off with with, with the hamstring, um, so we've, we've got to keep keep an eye on him. It's not it's not a, a long term one. Uh, whether he makes whether he makes the weekend, we'll have we'll have to see. Um, obviously, the risk of that is he came off at Forest and he's come off again at Blackburn. Um, you know, we don't want to take too many risks with him because um, it's just it's not fair on the lad either. So we'll have to we'll have to see on that one as well. Um, um, and then just just knocks and niggles from from real intense training over the last sort of. Five day period where the players have had some good rest days and they've also we've put them through their paces as well, um, which is tough for them, but, but enjoyable for them as well. Every window is different and they're all quite strange in their own unique way um, and they all get frustrating. Um, and I don't think, you know, when, when I speak to senior managers like Steve Bruce's and people like that and Neil Warnock's, I don't think it changes. Um, everyone's has its challenges, but this is completely different. And just, just the fact that a lot of the decisions being made aren't really football decisions at the moment it is financial and that's what yeah. makes it so difficult um, because you don't have you don't have the choices if they're football decisions managers are making football decisions then they, they can be quite easy but when it comes to financial decisions that when you're trying to talk to a club about taking a player and one minute the player's available next minute they're not because they can't get somebody in or or um, you know scenarios like that it's it very, very very difficult um, but, but also on the flip side of that Rob is it is what it is. You know, yeah. they're not things we can control. So that's why I'm probably less frustrated in this window than I've ever been, yeah. because the control element's taken out of my hands quite a lot. Um, um, and I said, all, all I can ask for my board is to be supportive of me and, and you know, push the boundaries as much as we can. And they have, and they've been great. And um, you know, we, we are confident that we'll do something um, yeah. um, in the next 36 hours. And all I can ask for them is, is, is to try the best to, to support and and as long as we're doing that, I'm a happy manager, and they haven't have been brilliant. Um, so um, let, let's see what happens in the next 36 hours, but as, yeah. as I keep saying, quietly confident. Why is it so difficult to get a permanent deal over the line, Neil? It's, it's just goalposts change all the time, and it's it's not, and that's not just at our end. I think that's at, at ends um, at other clubs as well. I think all, all clubs really, if, if you, you've got to think most owners' um, cash flow is, is um, attached to businesses. Um, and businesses are affected hourly at the moment by uh, changing in the times in this country and abroad uh, with with COVID regulations, with lockdowns, with, with shutting of certain industries. Um, and you know, we, we, every club, speak to agents, speak to clubs all the time, um, finding that deals might be on the table one minute, then they're gone, or goalposts have been changed for um, um, financial reasons from clubs needing more money or less money. Um, a lot of times you find a merry-go-round of players. One player leaves one club. They take somebody in that position. Somebody else moves on and so on, which we see it quite a lot. Um, that's looking very difficult at the moment because the amount of times goalposts are moving at one club, it then blocks a move for somebody else further down the chain. That, that's happened on a couple of things we've been involved in. Um, um, I've gone past the stage of getting frustrated, you know, just understanding, you know, is what it is. But I'm a football manager. I want to win games and I want... You know, more options. Um, so we're, we're working really hard.